here. I haven't heard that one before. It says, hi Brent, what was your worst experience with a customer uh, and how did you handle it? Um, worst is a tricky question. Um, worst could mean uh, something that went terribly technically wrong, like there was a, a catastrophic technical issue in the environment. Worst can also mean politically, you know, like that there was something politically that was a challenge in the organization that had nothing to do with the server itself. Uh, you know, maybe someone just wanted their way or refused to budge or uh, had unrealistic expectations. Worst can also mean uh, the terrible news that I've had to give a client. So it can mean a lot of different things. Um, and I, I don't, I don't want to make someone feel like their issue is the worst. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to, uh, what is it that they say? Raise the kimono or open the kimono. There's this really tacky saying about uh, lifting your skirt to show something. Uh, but that I don't think I'm going to do that here. Uh, but hopefully that gives you an idea. There, there are a lot of ways that projects can go wrong with a client. Um, the, the ones where I think I feel the worst, uh, cause I don't know my political problems. That just is what it is by now at this point, I'm like, okay, so, you know, uh, let's just go through uh, how to win friends and influence people and, you know, figure out how we're going to crack this nut and get people to get on the same page. Um, if it's a technical problem, that's a really bad thing that's happening at the client. I mean, I've seen database corruptions, drives, fill ups, uh, sands go offline, um, uh, those I don't really feel too bad. Okay, here, okay, here's the one that, the, the one, drawing this way out, the ones where I feel the worst is when management has unfair expectations of their staff, like they expect their staff to move mountains with no resources whatsoever, and they're very understaffed, like that these poor people have been working 60, 70 hours a week trying to keep this ship afloat um, and management refuses to give them any resources. I, I feel really bad for the staff because it is hard to just drop and go get a new job. It's not like you can just go, especially in these days in this economy, uh, it can be really hard to find the kind of work that you want. So when I have to handle that with clients, I, I actually lay it out in, in terms of here are the problems that the technical staff are facing, management, here are the places where you have to make an investment because the staff can't make this investment for you. You can't expect the staff to get their 